In today's video, I'm diving into the manipulative narcissist personality pattern. Let's go. Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Tammy M. Joyce. I'm the founder of Tammy M. Coaching and I'm an empowerment life coach helping people to heal and recover from painful family of origin and romantic relationship patterns so you can finally start living your best life in peace, confidence, and freedom. I run a powerful eight-week transformational coaching program called the Freedom Class, specific to healing and recovery from codependency and narcissistic abuse. If that's of interest to you, be sure to stick around till the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can learn more about working with me in one of my programs. So let's talk about the manipulative narcissist personality pattern. As you may already know, people who land on the spectrum of destructive narcissism tend to be highly manipulative. In fact, I often have to remind my highly empathic clients that they're fully dealing with master manipulators. Not just ordinary manipulative people, but actual masters at the malevolent art of manipulating and duping others. And that's what I mean by a manipulative narcissist personality pattern. And because of this manipulative personality pattern, relationships with destructive narcissists tend to be a real emotional roller coaster. You never know whether you're up, down, come, or you're going with these folks. And frankly, that's on purpose. They want you unsure of where you stand with them. They quite like it that way. And the reality is when you're in close proximity to a destructive narcissist, you're living in a very unstable, ambiguous, and generally upsetting situation to begin with. And one reason for this is the narcissist believes that he or she is superior to others and actually has the right to manipulate and exploit anyone they choose. In their mind, they've convinced themselves that they're only doing what everyone else does and therefore, not only do they feel entitled to do what they do, but they're actually quite comfortable when they lie, distort, and deliberately mislead. In addition, as far as they're concerned, they're also entitled to be contemptuous of others. Because of their full sense of superiority, this actually makes sense to them. And since they operate from this fundamental place of holding others in contempt, they have no issue with the fact that they work to get their personal needs met by telling others whatever they want to hear in the moment, no matter how far removed from the truth or reality that narrative might be. It doesn't matter. As long as the narcissist's ass is covered and they're getting what they want, they're good. They rather enjoy the fact that they can get others to do their bidding by being charming and seductive when it serves them, no matter how phony they may be in the moment or how much lying and deceiving is involved. It gives them a full sense of power and again reinforces their full sense of superiority when they can succeed in manipulating you in this fashion. And this ties into one of the main reasons you're on such an emotional roller coaster ride when in close proximity to, or in any kind of relationship with, a narcissistic person. Their Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde personality. Here's the thing. When you're real, true, and authentic, being consistent in how you show up for others is easy. It comes naturally. But when you're highly manipulative, disingenuous, deceptive, fake and phony as narcissists tend to be, when you have no real sense of self, which is the case for people who land on the spectrum of destructive narcissism, when this is the baseline from which you operate, the personality swings can be intense to say the very least. And if you're in any kind of relationship with these folks, you're the one who has to deal with these swings in their personality. And I don't have to tell you just how awkward and uncomfortable that can be. You never know who you're gonna be dealing with on any given day, or which mask or version of their full self will be presented at any given time. Sometimes the swing between Jekyll and Hyde will happen in a nanosecond. For example, the inflated, grandiose self is what the narcissist presents to you by boasting and bragging, but then switches to the poor me, I'm such a victim state, for no apparent reason. One moment they're cajoling you, trying to get you to do something you don't want to do, and the next, they're on full-blown attack, calling you names and going for the jugular just because you can't or won't cater to their demands instantaneously and in just the way they expect you to. And it doesn't end there. The manipulative narcissist personality pattern also shows up in the way they lie, cheat, distort, and mislead with shocking ease. They actually enjoy gaslighting you. 
They feel entitled to dupe, deceive, or take advantage of anyone kind-hearted, naive, or foolish enough to let them. And they do so with zero remorse for the consequences or impact the deception and manipulation has on the other. Further, you'll notice they don't appear to feel guilty when caught lying. And they're adept at offloading blame. Like I said, as far as they're concerned, they're superior to others and they're contemptuous of others. That makes for one very toxic combination. And it's what's at the heart of the manipulative narcissist personality pattern. They boast and brag to position themselves as better than, they regularly engage in seductive behavior, and they really, really enjoy anything they can do or say that might inspire envy and jealousy in others. Because they're green with envy, they assume that everyone else is too, so don't be surprised when they're projecting this nonsense onto you. Your job is to see it for what it is and keep your distance. They're showing you who they are. It's gonna be in your best interest to believe them. Have you ever observed small children at play, making up rules as they go along, and of course, rules that favor them? Naturally, children sometimes do whatever it takes to win or to get what they want, right? We expect this of kids. It's age-appropriate behavior for children. Adults, on the other hand, are expected to have a moral compass that is intact and fully operational. They're expected to know and observe the rules and play fair and know better than to lie or cheat. Adults are supposed to be more mature than children, but as you likely already know from personal experience, that's not always the case, especially when we're dealing with someone who lands on the spectrum of destructive narcissism. Unfortunately, what happens to the unaware and unhealed empath is we enter these friendships and relationships expecting to be dealing with a sane, rational, healthy adult who has a fully operational moral compass and some degree of empathy and conscience, only to find out that who we're actually dealing with is a highly manipulative and entitled toddler in an adult's body. But it gets worse. Not only are they a highly manipulative and entitled toddler in an adult's body, but they're also lacking in empathy and conscience, sending us all kinds of mixed messages and behaving in all manner of mean-spirited and manipulative ways. And the thing you need to understand is that people of this ilk, people with a destructive narcissist personality pattern, have their personal needs as a top priority at all times. They are incredibly self-absorbed, cannot imagine being any other way, and are fully convinced that everyone else is just as manipulative, deceptive, and green with envy as they are. So it's easy for them to engage in this sort of highly manipulative and deceptive behavior, having these exploitative attitudes. As far as they're concerned, they're only doing and feeling what they've convinced themselves everyone else is doing and feeling. If you're in a relationship with a manipulative, destructive narcissist, you've likely already experienced your partner's lying, cheating, distorting, and misleading. Narcissistic people see nothing wrong with these attitudes and behaviors. And because of that, they are not about to change. Not in this lifetime. So relinquish the fantasy that you'll ever be able to do or say the right thing in just the right way in order to finally be able to get through to them. It's never going to happen. And accepting that is vital if you want to preserve what's left of your sanity. Now comment below and let me know whether or not you're struggling with a highly manipulative narcissist in your life. And if so, who are they? Let me know in the comment section below. And if that's you, you're likely an excellent candidate for my eight-week transformational coaching program, The Freedom Class. If that's of interest to you, there's a link in the description below where you can apply to see if you qualify for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with myself or a member of my team. Now, in case you haven't noticed, confronting the narcissist does not work. Challenging their manipulative tactics and distorted narrative with reason, logic, or even mountains of evidence and proof simply does nothing to help you or the situation you're in. Threats and ultimatums slide right off them, probably because you've likely said it all before but didn't follow through. So as far as they're concerned, it's all just noise and grade A narcissistic supply, which of course it is to some degree. They're siphoning your vital life force energy and driving you mad in the process. Works for them. If this speaks to you in your experience, you're probably at a point where you're beyond frustrated, don't know what to believe, 
don't know what to expect, and worse, have no idea what to do about it. Well, hear me. Talking out your concerns with the narcissist will not work. They don't hear you. And frankly, they don't care. I know that's harsh, but someone has to tell you the truth. And believe me when I tell you the truth, harsh as it may feel right now, is the one thing that will set you free. So latch on to it and don't let go, baby. Living in and dealing in reality may be painful and uncomfortable for now, but what's the alternative? Denial and more of the same? What you really need to do is come to terms with the reality of your relationship and the narcissist's toxic, destructive, and manipulative attitudes and behavior. Narcissistic people do not change. I know that's a difficult and painful concept to acknowledge and accept, but it is the reality. My guess is you've probably become deeply disappointed each time you're faced with the narcissist lying, cheating, deflecting, distorting, and deliberate misleading. There's also likely a whole world of pain, frustration, anger, and confusion at the realization that the narcissist would treat you this way to begin with. After all, we love these people, right? And we show up with goodwill and good intent, so why can't they? Because they're not wired the way you and I are. They are fully, fundamentally, and constitutionally incapable of showing up with your heart, your values, your moral compass, and your standards. It's not who they are. Not in this lifetime. Your best strategy is going to be to do what I said earlier. Accept the fact that narcissistic people will do whatever he or she wants to do. Whatever he or she feels will meet their needs, not yours, theirs. They'll do and say whatever it takes to cover and save their own ass. Protect their dirty little secrets and their dirty big secrets. Your needs, your well-being, your best interest aren't even on their radar. Narcissists are always going to do whatever they feel will serve them in the moment. And the very real effect, impact, or consequence on you and your well-being doesn't even enter their mind. It's not even a consideration for these people. So accept and understand that the majority of the time what the narcissist is doing or saying has little if anything to do with the truth and therefore is going to need to be verified. Trusting people who have shown you repeatedly in big and small ways that they can't be trusted is a good way to not only get hurt, but get sick. So stop projecting your own trustworthiness onto people who are anything but trustworthy. From there, your work is to protect yourself, support yourself, and do whatever you need to do to reduce the negative impact that their destructive personality pattern has on you. In other words, deal with your own distressing feelings, learn to meet your own needs in healthy ways, and do your own work. Not much changes for us until we become willing to do the healing and recovery work necessary to inoculate ourselves from this type of emotional and psychological manipulation. But when we do that work, everything changes, and for the better. Fast. And with that, I'm going to call it a wrap, but don't stop now. I have well over a hundred more videos right here on YouTube for you to watch to help you better understand the detrimental effects of narcissistic abuse. And more importantly, learn what you need to do now to heal from the abuse so you can start living your best life in peace, confidence, and freedom. And if you want to go deeper with me, go to TammyMCoaching.com and learn about my tried and true process garnered over decades of experience and learn how you can become a client.